Because I live in Australia, it's been quite a while since I've had to remove snow and ice from my vehicle. But I remember when I lived in Melbourne, I would often have ice on the windscreen and sometimes I'd have to go and get warm water, not hot water, but warm water, to try and get rid of the ice and it was a bit of a pain in the butt. I know people in a lot of cold countries would be like going, dude, shut up because it's way worse where I live. You got nothing to complain about. I agree with that. But I remember another time when I went to the snow and my car was covered in snow and ice and that took me a lot of work and effort to get my car so I could see through the windows to make it visible again. If I had to do that on a regular basis, it would be a real pain in the backside. Now, apparently, there's a way you can actually clear the snow and ice from your Tesla um, without even doing it yourself. Here's what you're meant to do. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Everything electric is gonna be on this weekend. It's in Australia here. Love to see you there. 20% discount code in the description below. And it's gonna be the biggest EV show this year, probably in Australia's history. Now, hopefully there'll be one in America that I can hopefully get to this year. We'd love to do so, and maybe even in our other countries as well. So there is a way to remove the snow and ice from your Tesla without having to touch it. This was reported on by Talk News just a few days ago. One of the worst things they say about winter is having to de-snow or de-ice your car, getting your hands cold in the mornings. Personally, I'm a pretty impatient person. <laughs> Can't help it. Don't have a whole lot of patience. I have to really learn my patience and that's why I get annoyed with this kind of stuff. And that's why I think a feature like this could be pretty useful. In cases where your car is covered in snow or ice, you might try taking a snow brush, pouring warm or even hot water on your car. And these options could work. If the hot water is too hot, you can crack the windshield. That does happen. Anyway, apparently there's a better way to clean the ice and snow from your Tesla. Tesla vehicles are some of the most technologically advanced vehicles. And in your Tesla, there's an app where you can use the remote control to turn on sentry mode in order to see your car remotely or make the horn beep or do various things. However, you can also use the app to set climate controls. Inside the app, there is an option to turn on the climate control right on the homepage. So essentially what you can do is turn this on well before you're set to get in your car. So if you're getting up in the morning, you know, you're asked, good chance it's gonna be the case with your car. It's gonna be either really cold inside or there's gonna be snow and ice on the outside. You can turn on your climate control. So get up in the morning before you take your shower, before you eat your breakfast, you can turn that on. The icon looks like a wind powered set of blades with four blades like this. Once you tap the climate controls, you can see that they're on, wait five minutes and you can get in a clear and warm car. Now, a lot of people have tested this, Apparently it does work. It may not take five minutes depending on how much snow and ice you have. Could take longer, could take less. Really, you know, is really case dependent. Now, will you use some of your battery? Well, of course you will. If you turn on your internal combustion engine vehicle before you use it, you idle the car, you use fuel, but you use more than you do in an EV because obviously in an EV, you don't have to actually have the engine running. Anyway, your car will use some of the battery. It depends on how you how much you have it turned on for, how hot it is in the vehicle, what model you've got, what model of Tesla, does it have a newer heat pump? Anyhow, probably around 1%, give or take. Now, obviously you can do this in a gas car, a petrol power car, but you gotta go and turn it on and then it can take a really long time. Uh, I've tried it, it seems to take an eternity and even then the ice often is still on the outside of the car. So yeah, apparently from a lot of Tesla owners experience, this works quite well. And it's a nice little tip that you might be able to use if you own a vehicle, an EV, Tesla. Now other EVs may do it as well, I'm not sure. Do you have one that does it? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.